In the previous video, we had talked about the various methods of preparation of benzene. In this video, we are going to be talking about the various physical properties of aromatic hydrocarbons. So, aromatic hydrocarbons are generally non-polar in nature and they are colorless liquids or, or solids, but they have a characteristic odor and that's why they're named as aromatic hydrocarbons, right? And uh, they are immiscible in water, but they are readily miscible in organic solvents and burn with a flu sooty flame. Uh, not only that, one particular <coughs> hydrocarbon that is naphthalene. So naphthalene just consists of two benzene rings which are fused together, like so. So this particular aromatic hydrocarbon, uh, if you do re realize, the, the naphthalene balls that you have to maintain the freshness of clothes, generally people have naphthalene balls in their closets or maybe even... Uh, Maybe even the wash, I mean the washrooms as well. So this makes sure that there's a good odor happening over there. Not only that, it's also has a very good moth repellent property, and that's why it's used when you have you store clothes. So, and the smell is quite unique, and because of that, it's used in various. I mean, it's used in the washrooms as well. So with that, we're done with the various physical properties. Quite simple. Unlike alkanes and alkenes, we had uh, melting points, boiling points, all of that. But in this case, you just have to remember the following. Uh, in the next video, we'll be continuing and moving on to chemical properties.